Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Today we're working with the Limbird, yes, and Starag, as well as the Sire team. I'm headed inside because there's so much to see and learn and participate. The next generation is so important, but the history, almost 100 years of Limbird, the aerospace, oh my gosh, you have to see what's coming next. Eric is right around the corner. I'll see you in a minute. My grandfather moved to St. Louis in 1923, and he came to see the air races. What he found here, this incredible spirit and the camaraderie of the aviators here, and he was like, I wanna live here. So he started flying the mail for Robertson Aircraft Company from St. Louis to Chicago. My grandfather thought he could win the Ortig Prize, but he didn't have the money, he had $2,000. So he, he went to his contacts in St. Louis, and they put together a consortium and that group decided to call themselves the Spirit of St. Louis organization. And they named the plane the Spirit of St. Louis. Well, after my grandfather died, friends of his at the Explorers Club in, in New York City, Neil Armstrong and General Jimmy Doolittle, Jim Newton and others, came together and said, we need to find a way to honor Charles and Anne Morrow Lindbergh's vision of balance between advances in technology and preservation of our environment. Because the, the fulcrum of that balance, if you will, is our quality of life and the quality of life, all life on Earth. So they came together and started the Lindbergh Foundation and we carry it on today, 47 years later, by inspiring kids and, and using incentive prize to solve the grand challenges facing humanity. And it's that uh, tapping into that spirit that's alive here in St. Louis and the spirit that's alive in these kids today with the Epic STEM Challenge program that, that give us the energy to do this. That spirit, it's alive here in St. Louis. My role here at the Lindbergh Foundation basically is to work with the local community and the uh, STEM activities, the STEM organizations to try to further aviation uh, in the spirit of St. Louis. The importance of STEM is that it's an everyday part of our lives. Uh, everything that we do is STEM. It's connected into it. And what STEM allows us to do when we understand is it helps us to understand our world, it helps us to solve problems, and from an educational standpoint, it inspires students to be those change makers. The Lindbergh Foundation is partnering with the St. Louis Science Center, which runs the Yes Teens program. This is such an extraordinary program where kids are, um, they're actually paid to come to school, after school, and they learn STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math here, and, and to be paid for four years in a program that then sends them out to be successful uh, in their careers and whether that's in aviation or advanced manufacturing or or as a dentist it doesn't matter it's that we light these kids up and give them options in their life and they'll take care of themselves. Part of the reason Starig wanted to be involved with the Lindbergh Foundation and SIRE is they're heavily involved in the YES program. The YES program is bringing up the next generation of engineers, manufacturing people and gives opportunities to everybody. It doesn't matter your age, your race, your, your background, it's a program that everybody can enter, they can learn the future skills needed, and hopefully that creates the next generation for manufacturing. YES is an amazing program. I'm super honored that I had the opportunity to come through it. And before I went off to school, I was the assistant educator for summertime science. And then I would come back during my breaks, summer breaks and winter breaks. And I really just fell in love with watching the students grow throughout their four years with us because they come in, they're 14 years old, they leave, they're 18 years old and ready to take on the world, ready to go to college or whatever they decide to do. One of the primary uh, initiatives of the Limber Foundation is to inspire and much of in the spirit of St. Louis idea that going beyond what is previously known and making new innovations and new inventions. Part of doing that is inspiring the young generation through STEM education, reaching out to the greater community, and seeing what can be created. The Lindbergh Foundation works to celebrate Charles Lindbergh and his spirit of innovation and making a difference in the world. And when we are able to connect and understand that what we're doing is also about innovation and making the world better, there's a natural partnership. So, so Lindbergh Schools is really proud to be able to uh, work with the Lindbergh Foundation 
in making change to make our world a better place. Our connection with the YES Foundation is through, obviously, the St. Louis Science Center. St. Louis Science Center is a huge part of uh, you know, educating and, and bringing awareness to just STEM activities within the St. Louis region. Uh, with our business here in, in, in this greater St. Louis, St. Charles area, the, the YES Foundation uh, stands for Youth Exploring Science. So we want to bring uh, those minds into the aviation, into the industry uh, of really what's going to be the future of, of, of us and what we're trying to do. Educating students isn't just about academics. It's about giving them exposure to the things that they're inspired by. And when they learn those skills and they build that confidence, they start to incorporate those skills into the work they're doing and they start to become those problem solvers and change makers that we're looking for. My hope is that with the connections I made here while I was in the YES program, I'll be able to get a job as an aerospace engineer, either at Boeing or maybe even NASA, because I don't really care. I want to build like rocket and stuff. I'm just really in love with the mission and the things that we do here are really exciting. So when I see a STEM program where it's inspiring the next generation saying, look, you can be an engineer if you want, but you also can just be involved in manufacturing. To me, that's personal and that, that's really what we need in this country. I've always been passionate about mentoring the next generation of future Air Force leaders. Getting people interested in just those uh, engineering, math, all the stuff that comes along with manufacturing, producing, uh, and, and taking the, what we have today and making it better for not just us, but our kids and, and the future generations to come. What we see behind us is really the next generation. This is creating a conduit for thought processes around aviation within communities that maybe would not have been represented within engineering, aerospace, and who knows what those ideas and those brilliant kids can come up with, and we're excited about it. We're a 47-year-old foundation, and this year we moved to St. Louis to tap into the same spirit that was alive here when my grandfather moved in, 20, uh, in 1923, and in 1927 when his backers helped him to buy the plane and fly the spirit of St. Louis across the Atlantic, changed the way the world thinks about aviation and how we move around the planet. And today, 2024, 47 years later, we've moved to St. Louis to tap into that same spirit, to inspire kids, and to use incentive prizes to help solve the grand challenges facing humanity. That's our mission. As we move into the 100th anniversary of my grandfather's flight, we too want to change the world. And it's that spirit of St. Louis that's taking us there. We want to take that spirit around the world.